number 15 of the NR 2003 PMU Cup Series here at Calder Park Thunderdome and we are now almost halfway here uh, in season 10 so as usual let's get to the point and uh, let's see who is leading the point standings right now and right now uh, Owen Scott still leads the standings having got an impressive four wins in the bag for him but he's still training right behind Camry Jr. in fact Owen Scott and Camry Jr. have been have been swapping swapping places um, throughout the last few races and but now Camry Jr. is only behind Owen Scott by four points and right behind him still in the top three is Zachary VK and uh, Drew Walker coming off from his win last race is now up into fourth. Bradley Ream, uh still uh, in the in in the top five, um, having been in the top five or even even the top ten all round all the all the all the past uh, uh, five races. I think Bradley Ream is still in the top five, and uh, Leland Hill in sixth place. Lucas Holmes starting to fall down in seventh. Arati Alejo in in eighth. Nicholas Wright in ninth and uh, Ad Aditya Bagus goes up into 10th position and uh, the rest of all you can see and now let's make a move on and uh, let's start the race from there alright so let's see before I I do anything, of course, though, I should double check. All right, just checking the volumes, and now let's see who will qualify on pole for today's race. Drivers, to your car. And it's going to be Riley Hill starting the pole. Saber Fox in second place. Nicholas Wright in third. David, sorry, not David. Dark Rain in fourth. Bradley Graham in fifth. Zach Carrington in sixth. Jay Chevalier in 7th, Olivia Reynolds in 8th, Aaron Thiel in 9th, and Eddie Flores Jr. in 10th position, and the rest. So, bear with me one memento. 
Okay, so now let's see if we can get the words in motor racing up very Drivers shortly. To your cars. Here we go. Let's see if we can hear it in around 10 seconds. And all cars are lining up, ready to go, waiting for the pace car to start making its move. Here we go. And the Riley Hill and Saber Fox all lining up. It's quite interesting though, Southern Cross are starting second and fourth respectively I think third I mean I confirm yes I must have showed it so um but there you go so um so right now it is it is an almost unknown field here aside from a few um Interesting ones, Jason Valia still trying to um to prove he, he he's worthy of the forty seven car as we're about to go racing here at Calder Park Thunderdome in Australia as Rally Hill gets a bit of a push from Nicholas Wright, quite unusually though, because there's his teammate starting to fall back. Sabre Fox starting to fall back on the outside line. Not a good place they want to be as um as now um Rally Hill makes for an early lead and Nicholas Wright starting to make the chase after Rally Hill looks and it looks like the rest of the field I think the rest of the field are starting to get bunched up already as uh as uh, I think uh I think Bradley Rim as well eventually gets away from the rest of the field. Saber Fox I think starting to manage to to now get away. But Riley Hill continues to lead with Nicholas Wright right behind him. Let's take a look at the back and there's Jerry Chen at the back. And looks like we're seeing a very heavy backside with some of the greatest drivers that you've seen right now. Sullivan Sheridan, Drew Walker as well as Jerry Chen and uh, as well as um, a few others. And let's not waste too much time as we get back as we get back to the front to the front I mean what's going on with my brain today and uh, right now Rally Hill is still leading at the moment Nicholas Wright still chasing him at the moment though in fact it is a time it is just time coming that we might see a new leader so as Nicholas Wright is uh, I think he's about to close in on Rally Hill and Hopefully there'll be a time where we will see our, our we, we will see our first overtake for the lead for the day. Nicholas right looking in on Rally Hill closing in, but uh, Rally Hill almost shot the door on him. But the door is still here for Nicholas Wright. Here here comes Nicholas Wright on for the lead. He gets past Rally Hill quite easily, quite easy easily for Nicholas Wright. But it looks like the cars towards the leader are starting to bunch themselves up together. They are chasing. Uh, the leader is now and looks like Nicholas Wright still no way of getting past Red Hill does he get past oh not quite oh my god they crossed the line equal over the line with Nicholas Wright on the top how insane is that and hopefully this could be a finishing one but 
We'll have to wait and see as Nicholas Wright continues to lead. He's now he's now up in front. Riley Hill falling down to third place as Bradley Rium goes up into second place. And I think Bradley Rium may have may have a chance to seize an opportunity on Nicholas Wright. Should anything happen to perhaps Nicholas Wright? Oh, will that a will that contact from Riley Hill? We have to see. I'll need to double check, but it looks like there was a bit of contact. There was a bit of contact between Bradley Hill and Bradley Ream. They've almost Just got contact. A little nudge from the 15 to the 40 saying he's there. The 47 is trying to prove himself that he's worth in the 47 because we've seen a couple of crashes involving the 47. 47 getting getting wrecked and everything despite the fact that that if if not his fault most of it's not his fault and right now we see uh, an interest interestingly almost coincidentally we see a 36 car that is of course a former jerry chen number it used to be driven by joe Chen. oh jay stavelli bumps into the wall what the hell just happened there i was just i was just talking about jay stavelli for a second just got loose out of the corner that is just shocking to see jay stavelli well you see whether he's proof that you see Riley Hill drop from the lead to nearly outside of the top 10 as a camera junior uh, goes up into third place but we need to check the reply for that um, close call for for Jason Valia look was that who's leading no th there was no new leader sorry it's still Nicholas Wright but once again, let's take a look at the replay f of uh, Jay Savalia. The moment where he hit the wall so badly. I don't know if there was contact between the 36. No. Jay Savalia did it on his own and ended up hitting Arishiwiko. Quite coincidentally, he actually hit Arishiwiko. Um, I think back in uh, in Japan, I think. Was it in Japan? Or if I remember correctly, but... It was either Japan or Rockingham. I'm pretty sure it's one of them, but... Um, you're I don't think it was. I don't think it was Rockingham because he caused that big accident. Well, I think it could be. An e well, he, he did it in Indianapolis, but there was another. There was another collision involving him and Arishi Wiko. I'm pretty sure it was Japan, as you can see. Oh, I, I didn't capture it uh, on this. We want side by side action. I can't see. I can't see him properly, so um. I think that's the, that's the only best shot we can see of JC really getting loose. I think he he's got loose out of the corner. Check a look at the replay to see how close he was with um with with Arisu Iko. He was so close to causing an accident there with Arisu Iko, but luckily we didn't see an incident this quick on. And we're seeing close calls as well. In fact. As, as you probably might have seen as well, Riley Hill almost got contact with Bradley oh, Ream early on. Oh, here comes Riley Hill. David Scott joins in. David Scott up, up nearly the top five. And, uh, hang on. Whoa, did I see something? What, did he hit the wall again? Did he hit the wall again? Don't tell me he hit the wall again. He hit, he hit the, the wall, wall again. again. What is going on with... He is... He is so unlucky today. I don't know if that's the wrong. I mean, he, wrong. I don't he may have got crunched three wide on the outside there, but other than that, I don't see anything wrong with the car. I think it's just his right side that's probably heavily damaged. Well, if it happens again, then I guess this could be for worse. If it happens He's again, there's going to be an incident. He's starting to fall down quite um, thankfully enough. And uh, as we go towards the, the front, oh, Nicholas Wright is still leading at the moment. Right now, it's a 95. 36 is now up into Wait, no, 75, my bad. I was... Wait. The 36 is... Sorry, it's so foggy. Was... The 95 is still leading at the moment. 36 up into second place. The 36 car, the one to watch uh, in the championship because he's been... Um, <laughs> Swapping positions with Owen Scott, and to be frank with you, this could be beneficial. Side by side for actually, third. If he can actually get his first um, 
win of the season. Raymond. Raymond Uweka for third. And perhaps Saber Fox is going to join in as well. Saber Fox started second place in this race. And uh, to be frank with you, that um, this is I, actually sort of I a good day. I think she for... has the pace. She just can't can't get involved in anything. She's had a bad couple of weeks, especially with that racket rocking him. Well, to be frank with you, that um, t t this today must Green be... Green drops out of third. Be... Could drop out of fourth here if the... 87 could get past him. I was going to say that the Southern Cross has had a good day at the moment. Could perhaps give... Could, could be a chance to try... FRM has found end, their but, way. But Camry Jr. is... You know, getting close. I will not be shocked if we see a Honda at Victory Lane today. At Australia. Because side by finished, side, they finished sec. They they started second and third in this race, respectively. Nicholas Wright, no, Saber Fox and Nicholas Wright started second and third. So, perhaps side by side, and the thirty-six for Jerry Chen. That is that is not Jerry Chen. Cameron, Cameron Jr. Jr. takes the lead. Jerry Chen, uh, I know. Right there. I was. Jerry Chen is right there, probably struggling right now, despite uh, some high finishes. Side, side action in the back, but up front, single file. Oh, we've seen something interesting. Or would I seen something? I thought I thought there was like a free wide at one point. <laughs> and here comes Yuriko. Yuriko. Yuiko up into second place, so perhaps he could be up for the lead at one point. Because uh, Cameron Jr., um, although he's had a bit of bad luck in terms of trying to lead and stuff like that. Only a little bit away here. And I don't think Nicholas Wright Yuiko is second. Yet. I don't think he's done yet, Nicholas Wright. Yeah. Nicholas riding the 95 and third. Fourth place, Bradley Ream in fifth place, Saber Fox. Aaron Thiel in sixth place. David Scott, I think that's Aaron Thiel in sixth. Uh, Rain and Army in eighth place. Riley Hill, the pole fitter in ninth, down into ninth, and uh, that. Riley Hills. David Ryans. Hill was up there for. 10 for like most of the first early stages, but then had that uh, battle with the 95 and Nicholas Wright as he tries to pass the 51, and the 51 will give him the position. Nicholas Wright back into second place, having passed Arishu Iko, and like only I say, one driver away from one to away from taking the lead here. We're coming up to lap 25. Close, um, well, how, do, how do I say this? Quarter part of the race has been completed, and uh, Cameron Jr. is still leading. Hopefully, he can lead for much longer. Well, at least a bit longer. And as we go down the order a little bit, we'll find out where the leader, and there's Jason Bailey down the field, currently in 23rd position, having hit the ball twice so far today. But where is Owen Scott? The leader right there could be up to losing his lead once again in the point standings. Drew Walker currently in last place right now as we get back to the lead. And looks like Yuiko and Nicholas Wright are swapping positions once again. Yuiko back into second place. Mm. 
side side for for third for second place. Here we go. We got teammates fighting for third though. They were right behind the two of them in fifth. Bradley Green in sixth. Seventh goes to David Scott. Still side by side. Oh, we might see. Oh, that that was a, that was close contact. Oh, they're going free wide. Aaron Thiel. Oh my God, Nicholas Roy hit the wall. Oh my God, and that's going to be a caution. And Aaron Thiel gets stumped onto the wall by David Scott. And is he going to be all right? Yes, he's going to be all right. He's not going to end up like Jason Savalia. Our first caution of the day is Aaron Thiel and Nicholas Wright in two separate accidents. It was a close call. I think Nick is right. Oh no, the, they they still go. They're still going. Oh, they're still going. Wow. It okay. Looks it looks controversial. I guess right we'll watch back on the watch back on the replay. See what happens. I mean, it's possible because of the fact that maybe so there's three wide. Not Nicholas Wright, but Aaron. Thiel. Nicholas Wright gets into the 25, the 92, overcorrects and spins the 25. We're still under green. Here at Calder Park. Despite that scare from Zachary VK, was who was so close, managed to oh avoid. Oh my gosh, he was. He avoided <laughs> that 25 Aaron Thiel. Oh, they just got three wide in the corner. There were, there were three wide, which was quite dangerous, and that caused Nicholas Wright did not have a lot of space and ended up hitting the wall, and that caused him to, to, to get contact with David Scott and Aaron Thiel. Causing Aaron Thiel to get dumped into the wall. That was a scare. Honestly, it's this is supposed to be yellow by the looks of things because despite being a minor accident, um, and despite the fact that Aaron Thiel was able to come off free, but unfortunately, it's still green. So I don't know why. As we um we take a look again at this uh, replay. That must have been a scare from the cameraman, who almost got hit by Aaron Well, that Thiel. cameraman was right there. He got a front row view of Aaron Thiel, spinning right in front of him. What an absolute banger of a, of a, of a, of a collision we've seen right now. And despite the fact we're going green, and Aaron Thiel is continuing despite being wrecked. I don't know if he wants to retire the car. But that's he not, is not even that far behind. But he could be losing uh, any second now. He could be losing time any second now as the race continues on. Aris Uiko, so Aris Uiko, trying to pronounce it well, better. He is he is getting close to Camry Junior now. They're now line by line as uh, looks like Camry Junior is about to lose a bit more time now as Uiko gets caught up with him. Saber Fox up into third place now, as uh, looks like wait they were battling Nicholas Wright and Saber Fox were battling each other. I think Nicholas Wright starting to fall down a bit now, and looks like the time has come to see Yuiko in the lead as he gets close to the 36 car. Does he take the lead? Looks like he will take the lead. He does take the lead. I hope. I hope he does take the lead. I don't know what will Cameron Jr. respond to. Looks like Cameron Jr. will give him the slack of, of a pass. And now Yuriko is a new race leader right now. And as you can see, the 47 car, that is Jason Valia. He is already out of the running. Let's take a look and see what happened to Jason Valia. I hope he returns to the pits for damage at least. I think... Um, he was yeah, he pitted not long ago. I will presume hopefully he's not for nothing to do with fuel, so Oh he hit again, he hit again. He hit again, but that was another free wide well it, it was close to free wide and then this happens. SH SHIT happens, oh my god. Owen Scott, your new race leader, your current race leader, your sorry, your points leader got involved in absolute fashion. By this car, honestly, I don't, I don't know what's happening, but as you can see, that his his car is getting even more and more damage right now. And Jerry, Ch oh my God, even Jerry Chen, the 
their predecessor, predecessor, their um, former driver in the 47 car, got hit by his own 47. And it looks like, yeah, looks like it is, it is certainly time for him to return to the pits. And he is coming into the pits, but he decides to stay out by the by what I've heard right now. We will go and find out. Yep, he's changing tires instead of just, or perhaps they're repairing the car instead of bringing him in, bringing him in to retire the car. I don't know why, but that was a long pit stop. And the forty, the forty-seven after that wreck. Uh, Said his car didn't feel so well after that, after that collision with the 17. He said track bar felt loose, but other than that, he went, he was okay with the car, but decided to stay out with track. Hopefully, it doesn't ruin our leaders' race. We'll find out. It looks like both him and Aaron Theo are starting to slow down now. There is a chance that these cars, these, these leaders are going to catch up with those lappers, soon to be lappers, as uh, Arishi Wiko is up in front, having recently took over from Cameron Jr. a few laps ago. And now I think Cameron Jr. might have something under his belt as he gets close to Yuiko. This could be an actual battle between He's on the, the bumper. He's on the bumper, that that 51. And a lead. We got a battle for lead. battle for third. Not a lead change, but a battle for third as Bradley Room goes back to third place. Then Nicholas Wright returns up to fourth. Passing his owner. And there's David Ryan. Some was the A7 Rain and Army. The winner at Darlington, I think. Or if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it was Darlington. It was one race that uh, Rain and Army won this uh, this season. And Jackie Daytona in the tenth place, holding up the others. Looks like a train of cars with Jackie Daytona the, hey, uh, the rider. Leave after this race. I'm gonna DM you something. Uh, I think uh, the man, man behind uh, Jackie was, has left the server, so I don't know what's happening with that. What's I server? don't know if we want to just... What's uh, the server. I think you left him, yeah. You go do it now. I'll have a look. Alright, yeah. Yeah. That's right now. Oh, Cameron Jr. is back in the lead. Well, we'll have to take a look at it. On the reply, we weren't able to catch it live, but let's see. It, it was expected that it's going to be gonna, there's going to be a battle again between Yuiko and Cameron Junior, and it looks like Cameron Junior has managed to get back in the front and back into the lead, back in the front of Yuiko and back into the lead he goes, Cameron Junior. Yes, I'm aware. I yes, I'm aware. I made a I made an announcement on Fantasy News about that. So um, so yeah, but yeah, unconfirmed news as of now in terms of on this uh, on 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 this broadcast on this video. As uh, right now, um, as let's let let let's skip to the, let's get back to the race once again. As um, Cam Wright Jr. still your race leader. Could be up to literally winning his first race of the season. Like I said, he, he, this could be beneficial for Camera Jr. Probably the second time I've actually said it. And uh, but well, let's hope and see how he stays from there. Now we are we are expecting pit stops around lap sixty something. So this could change the game pretty well. Pretty well. 
around lap 55 and 60 is where I'm expecting uh, drivers to make their pit stop. That's their fuel window. But do not be shocked if someone tries to go fuel only. So unless we have a caution, we will see green flag pit stops. Looks As like 36 leads. I think these two are still not losing. I don't think they're losing any time or not or not much time or not as I thought it would be. They aren't losing as much time as they were whenever they got their damage first, but I still expect them to be lapped as well for too long by our leaders. I don't think they're anywhere far, and I've come to think of it now. As we go on board Camry Jr. right now, and I don't think yeah i can see them uh, right up front so perhaps not for long probably in the next not 10 for months. long I'd... probably in the next five to ten I'd say laps. Next... yeah about next seven laps or now is when i'm expecting those two to as we go out be lapped by our leaders as we go out the rear of um of camera jr as we take a look at uh Arisa Rica still chasing down the 36 car so far, we've not seen the lead change as of yet for the past few laps, at least. But um, it looks like Arisu Rika yes. wants to get back in the lead this race. You're on lap 45, or I cannot say that. 46. Here in, we are nearly in halfway. Australia. We're nearly halfway. Nearly halfway, and about a couple laps away from pit stops. Here we go, here we go. Trying to find a move on the 36 of Cam Wright Jr. He's there. Here we go, side by side for, for the lead. Can Junior have does Junior have anything about it? Outside lane has not been prevalent today. Looks like. Yuiko is going to take the lead once again. Yuiko may grab it. Camry Jr. Aris Yuiko. Nearly to the lead at Calder Park. Side by side. Cam Jr. Experiencing the fate that the 87 had. Experiencing the fate that so many drivers had on the outside lane. And the 95 is there with him. But Junior's going to stay, stay in the first lane. But the 95 dropping, losing ground. We're on lap 50, a couple laps away from our fuel window. Or when I expected drivers to pit. We see any weird strategies, who knows? Thirty six trying to get to that trying to get to the inside of the side of the forty. Side by side for second. Twenty eight and ninety five backing the back in the thirty six. 36 has the lane for the inside. They're going to go side by side behind them too. The 28, Ray Anami, and the 95, Nicholas Wright. Side by side behind Aries Uiko. And Uiko loves this. He's getting multiple, he's getting a ton of time. And pulling away from, 
from Cam Wright Jr. in the 36. Side by side, still for third. Side by side everywhere. It's been some very clean racing, except for the couple times we saw cars on the wall. I think it's a 78 behind the 87 there. Dream. It's away from away from the twenty-eight. Barishu Eco. <gasps> There's lappers. We said something would happen with the lappers. We go. Gets put on the outside by the by the 36 Cam Wright Jr. Possibly the lead. Cam Wright Jr. to the lead. After lap cars. Well, that was a shocking turn of events to see um, leaders changing the game for the top two as Cameron Jr. back into the lead because of Arish Eureka getting blocked by those two lappers. And oh my god, some, oh my god, what what did I just saw? Zach Carrington sped up in absolute fashion. Zach Carrington! What the How many spots did he just gain out of the corner? What the actual F did I just saw? Let's take a look at it. How many spots did he just went through thanks to those lappers blocking everyone? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven spots in the span of three seconds. I already bet the driver of the 44 is happy. Well, that's an interesting thing to see as uh, that Carrington uh, makes a big leap. Oh, we've got uh, pit stops coming in as Riley Hill pulls in. And it looks like there a, few we go. Others, uh, a few others pull in. Lucas Holmes is already there. So, oh my God, we see uh, the, po the pace cars come out, so something's gone wrong. Oh my God, that looks terrible. What happened? That looks terrible. What happened? Oh my God. God. Big wheel, go, big wheel. The 20, see, that's the 60. Oh, that's David Scott. <laughs> Oh my god. And I just what happened is that what happened is there? I don't know what's happened. Oh what the what the hell just happened? Saber Fox getting dumped by right right Oh my it. god, it's a it's a lack. Whoa. Just what did, getting on a pair row. Did Saber Fox went loose? That's a bit weird. No. Okay, that's I that's, think that is something I don't get. That How bubble that, that was I'm so confused right now what just happened. So, no damage for the 87 car. At least from what I can tell. I don't know. But oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened. Just got turned. Just started to get loose and then got turned out of the corner. And the 92 just flips. I think he might... Yeah, I, no, I think they must have uh, lost uh, control of the car. Uh, yeah, they must have switched... They must have uh, slipped on or something. Oh, um... Were they... Were they, were, were they, were they I think, were they trying to make back into the pits? Make it back into the pits, I think, of the results? I don't think she can make it from there. <laughs> yes, she can. <laughs> Sounds like an effort. I'm going back in. Well, you can tell already that they're smoking, so, um... 
it wasn't even I don't think it was her fault at that point that was just a confusing moment oh the 28 got into into the 87 that's what causes it and then Alejo getting giving Davis Scott the flip over look at that Davis Scott is on top of his roof whoa 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 on top of the roof is the 92. That 92 is done for the day, I can tell you that. This happened while pit stops were happening, so the I pitters are going to be happy. Wait, I can see 78 also smoking. 78 car also smoking. I don't know if, he, if he's got... If he, if he got 78 car, Nathaniel Campbell! Campbell was having a great day, running in the top 10 most of the day. What oh, happened? Oh, Nathaniel Campbell, he was already smoking before the collision. He basically So Campbell... Up. He might have been a call. I don't know. It could be like a leak, potentially. But we'll have to find out. But it looks like Nathaniel Campbell was trying to get back into the pits as much as he can. But somehow, I think it might, it, it might, it might be the 78 he's doing behind us. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh no, it wasn't. But he was already smoking. Um. Right behind him, so. Let me check again. I don't know. Thoroughly is not oil on the track because. There's not Nathaniel, oil on the track, I think. Nathaniel. Wait, Cam no! Cam Campbell was in front of Saber Fox. No, he was behind Saber Fox the entire time. So it can't be a leak that caused Saber Fox to slip or some thought. It could have been, uh... Was he smoking the first lap? Was he smoking the lap before? Because that may have caused it. Uh, just so, well, shortly before. And Saber Fox was right in front of Nathaniel Campbell. As well, before the collision. So, but I think that was a complete separate incident. It looks like the pace car will make their way. I think the I think I think Drew Walker got involved. Looks like he's got a bit of damage on his car. But anyway, we'll find out. Looks like fifty four got damaged. Be confusing on finding out who is going to end up leading. Where is um, Cam My Junior? I don't know if he's pitted yet. He has pitted, so. He is confirmed to have pitted. Who is all? Or does he? Oh no, he's not. He, he he's not in the lead now. I don't think. Zach Carrington up in front. Nicholas Rob in front. And Yuri Wicker up in front. Oh no, there's more. So who's actually leading right there's now? There's more. I think Eddie Flores Jr. Who? Unless unless I could be. This is very confusing. Take Who's all out is my question. Who else out? I just saw from the 51 appears to be leading. So, looks like these are not the actual leaders. Eddie Flores Jr. not the leader. Dark Ray not the leader. Fully Hill not the leader. Neither Solomon Sheridan. Oh boy, this is a long list of cars. And Eureka is still leading. Okay. Well, Camry Jr. is on a high position, so I guess these cars have pitted so late to the point now they've messed up their positions thanks to that caution. So quite surprising to see what 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 how it all happened, how it all unraveled. Well, this is interesting. So but anyway, let's take a a, a short break mm -hmm. for a moment, and uh, we'll be right back. And uh, when we're back, we will start the race immediately from there. Don't tell. <laughs> I don't know. He flipped. That's weird. Something is completely messed up. Oh, it, oh my God! They're gonna happen again. The cars are already loose. Already, I'm seeing right now. And oh my God, there's something completely messed up here with this race at Calder Park. Probably one of the most strangest races we've ever seen. 
But so the ninety two flips on his roof. Still is in the race. We have the seventy eight losing an engine. The 87 getting turned by the 28. <laughs> and like four separate turns in the same corner. Very confusing. As we go back to where the leaders are. As this race has turned upside down. As Yurishu Iko and that character. It was the so Waterboy. calm. The first 50 laps and now it's chaos. This is, oh my god, oh, Lucas Holmes has entered the pits. Looks like Lucas Holmes has some problem with his car already. I guess we might see more cars starting to have problems. I hope so, but I hope not, because this is going to turn into a caution filled race. As uh, looks like Yuriko is still up there and getting, oh, Lane Hill also coming in. His car was re his his car got wrecked. Sounds like from the incident with the eighty seven and the ninety two. Something concerning on strategy, I suppose. But we'll have to see. I, I'm still just so confused. I think Leland's done for the day. And Cameron Junior going for the overtake on the ninety five car. And. Getting a bit of a draft by Bagus. Bagus. Oh, they hit, hit the wall. Nicholas right hit the wall. That was close. I think he might have been put under pressure from uh, after getting past. So. And looks like Baggers is on the overtake on 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 camera junior. But does Cameron Jr. respond to it? I don't think so. He doesn't respond too well, so not too likely so as uh Arishi Wiko now gets a bit of a block by Jerry Chen. I don't know if to be frank with you, Jerry Chen and Eureka are actually we're, we're, we're actually um how do you call this? They they they're both prodigies. They're both they're both um just fellow drivers. And I guess eventually I might have, might have said it right. I might have said it right. That Jerry Chen was able to eventually make the space for Eureka to get past. And now Eureka has got a buffer right in front of him. And that is Jerry Chen with Zach Carrington still in second place. Third place currently Bagus and fourth place Camry Jr. Fifth place is the Almighty Nick Tanner. Sixth place Bradley Ream. Seventh is that David Dixon. Yep, he is in seventh place now. And that is, that is Henry J. Brown. In ninth, Nicholas Rothstein to fall back. And is that um? I think that's Camry Senior in that five car. Whoa, what happened down there? Oh my god. What does. Oh my god. I, Nicholas Wright. Oh, oh Nicholas Wright. I think Nicholas Wright had the problem, I suppose. I think Nicholas Wright slowed down before the collision, so that probably could explain why. Yeah, he must have slowed down. Yeah, he must have had a problem and wasn't able to get. Uh, away from the rest of the pack in time and that's what happened so now this caused um, Matthew Hill damage as well as there's another car that also got damage uh, Flounder Wilson I think she got wrecked um, already during the last caution so this is actually something this is, this is actually something I don't really get it or understand why. But this is why these are one of the most strangest courses I've ever seen. Let alone Rex. But I think uh, Nicholas Wright had a problem. I can tell that he, he was slowing down. I'm still just confused about that first caution to be honest.
probably more confusing in this race as um, looks like we're seeing another caution in this race and we will see another caution and Yuiko is still your race leader so let's continue on from there oh by the way yep here are here are retirement of the day retirement of the day Nicholas not um, Nathaniel Campbell um, retires alongside Sleeper Fox Blake Parker and Areti Alejo Alejo I mean and Matthew Hill has joined in the retired drivers okay I'm just so confused on how that 92 is still running if his car mm. flipped three times probably a strange error how, how, how do you and it doesn't look like he has any damage on the car too damage on the car that's even weird weirder <laughs> so let's see if the pace car will pull in the pace car will pull in and they're about to go green with a mixed set of leaders and lappers on the field we're coming up to 22 laps to go here we go again green flag as Yuiko takes off into the lead with Jerry Chen might have some sort of opportunity to try and maybe block and defend Arishi Yuiko's lead if possible but for how long though that's that's a big question mark And Cameron Jr. giving the 26 car a push. Trying to maybe take third place away from Zach Carrington. Here comes Cameron Jr. and Baggers, of course. Don't count out Baggers just yet. And that is Nick Tander as well. Nick Tander. Nick Tander up into fourth place, I think. Yep, that's fourth. Fourth place, Nick Tander. And David Dixon's still there. Hometown David. hero in the top ten. And David Dixon, not to forget yet, he yes, he does live not far from Australia, for, from here in Australia, so another one to watch here in today's race. And Henry J. Brown looking forward to a very decent position. And I think he's got a bit of damage on the car. But he's able to still go. He's, he's still able to maintain his uh, position in the top 10. This is interesting. And Cameron Jr. I think Baggers and Cameron Jr. are trying to to lap down Jerry Chen. This could be crucial for the leaders. Because it is about to get quite um it's gonna be quite a ride to the finish line I would say a battle I mean as a Yusuriko is still there but he might have some competition right behind him which is uh, Aditya Baggers in an RSIE car putting on a decent performance for the team as well the 26 car and uh, Camera Jr We'll keep an eye on that as well, because he might actually go for the battle for the win as well. We're now 15, 16 laps to go. And let's see. Uh, let's see how, how far are they from the lap car. I don't think they are, uh, they are anywhere near or close, I don't know. As we go on board Eureka for proof. Yes, there's a lap car not far, so um, this could be a close battle to the to the finish line, I think. And to be frank with you, 
maybe maybe leading at this time, getting the lead at this time, was um, probably not not a good time for Yuiko because of the lapper is behind. Who knows what will happen? Getting closer and closer. So this is getting pretty interesting. Jay Savalia is not budging with the leader. They're not. They're refusing to, or maybe not. But um, Jay Savalia was having a bit of a difficult time trying to give the leaders a chance to get through, and hopefully doesn't get let loose. As uh, right now, Yuriko still leads despite that little scare. And it looks like he's pulling away from the rest of the field. And I think Baggers is getting a bit under pressure from Camry Jr. Oh, and there's David Dixon. We have two Southern Cross cars in the top 10. In in the top 10. In place of Nicholas Re and Sabre Fox, whom unfortunately are out of the race. As Nick Tander goes for the pass on... Uh, on camera junior we are 10 laps to go and I hope we're not gonna see another lap car I don't think we're gonna see any more lap cars that's a big bonus to see so the 51 is leading and the 26 is second Well, this could be something to see for Adichie Baggers. Could uh, he try and make um, RSIE proud by being another driver for RSIE to win? As he changes, he, he, he wants to try and change the game for the team to hopefully, hopefully be reborn as a team. But right now, Orishi Riku is holding the 26 back. Baggers is still there in second place. I don't think he is doing anything, so I guess Eureka is, is on a good position now. As we come up to five, six laps to go. We're still green at the moment, so we're we're expecting we're widely expecting it to finish under yellows if there's going to be a caution. And here comes Nick Tander. Here we go, Nick the Tander. Southern Cross boys coming to take second and third. But is it too late for them to challenge for the lead? At least for maybe Nick I don't think it is. And Cameron Jr. pushing. Jason can not. get there too. The 
36 is, sho is shoving the 45. Three laps to go. Three to go. Oh my god, this is getting hectic. Lap cars coming The Hondas. <gasps> I knew Lappers! It. I thought they're not going to be lap, but there you go. Could this, could this end it? This is going to be a scare, I can say right now. Tander and Dixon are waiting in the grass. And they're Ooh. good. Whoa. I think Davis got his... Whoa, that was uh, that, that that lagged pretty badly, so that was close. Let's lag. Here we go. <gasps> Seventy-five on the bumper. This could be this could be something. And Yuiko gets up in front. David Scott also is going to try and take second place away from Nick Tander. And that will give Yuiko to breathe as and he's Aris about to do Uico something. And Eris Yuiko is going to win at Calder Park. Second place goes to David Dixon in the 45. Third place, the 36 Camry Jr. Fourth place, the 14. Fifth, Henry J. Brown. Seventh place, Henry J. Brown. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go for the top 10 very shortly but before that let's take a look at the fast lap time it's going to be Joe Owen Scott not whatever I'm about to say Joe or whatever it is Owen Scott takes home the fast lap time 25.080 and we go through the top 10 Yuiko Dixon Wright Jr. Tander, Guo, Baggers, Henry G. Brown, Ryans, Carrington, and Ray and an army both ran out the top 10 as we go through the rest of the field. And, uh, well, it's not much, not, not many drivers retiring, but those cautions were very, very strange. So, and probably a strange race as well. So, um, now, time for me to wrap it up very quickly, so, right, let's let's move on from there, so, as we move on to the next race, in fact, we are now finished with the international tour, and we shall head off to, we'll head off back to the US for Talladega 2, so, let's make a move on from there, thank you everyone for watching today's race, and hopefully I'll see you all next time for the next race, take care everyone, and, See you soon. We will be right back on the track. We'll be right back on the track as we continue on for uh, our our race towards the chase, the playoffs. So, anyway, thank you everyone. Be back on the. We'll be back on the track very, very, very soon.